No, it's just me. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. I'm your host Tall and behind me you can see our brand new set for this channel which is very, very exciting. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire Jurassic Park and sort of dinosaur collection. You've got stuff here from 1993, you've got stuff here from 2001, you've got stuff here from 2022. It's crazy, it's about to go down. I'm gonna show you guys every nook and cranny of my collection. So let's jump into it. This is sort of the set that I built for the Dinosaur Channel, as you can see by the wonderful plaque. But the collection spans to this side, spans a little bit back there, even though that's a mixed bag. And then all these boxes you see in the closet here, hoarded items of Jurassic Park that I'm holding onto. Um, all these boxes as well. We've got some stuff down there. But I guess we can start with the set because that's probably the most unique to your eyes, what you're looking at here. And we'll get into this later in the video. This is actually one of my most exciting pieces, but we'll talk about it later. I don't want to talk about it right now. Okay, so let's begin. As you can see, the first level of the set is lined with some amazing posters of Jurassic Park. So in this top floor, above the first shelf level, we've got this Jurassic World promotional poster. We've got the Topps trading car promotional poster. And we also got this like anatomically correct Stan Winston models of Jurassic Park that I got for free from this comic shop in Orlando, which was really cool. Um, then going up to this level of the shelf, we've got some of my biggest Jurassic Park toys or figures. I should also mention above that, we've got all the flyers. We've got uh, like a bunch of Pteranodon-esque figures. We've got the Quetzalcoatlus, the Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodon, Mattel's Ramphorhynchus, Dimorphodon, Tapayara. Just a, a bunch that I, I really like this because I tied them up with coils so it really makes it look like they're... Uh, they're flying above the set. Patasaurus, Brachiosaurus, Indominus Rex. We've got the Jurassic Park 3 Brachiosaurus, the Amargosaurus, the baby Brachiosaurus, which are one of my favorite figures of all time. Um, got some Snap Squad, Bumpy, of course. My prized possession, <laughs> the Reebok Insta Pump, I think is what they're called. Jurassic Park Edition shoes. That's why it's at the top of the collection. Then, of course, Legacy Collection Jeep with Tim. And of course I got the Amber Collection Pteranodon. There's a Darius getting eaten by a Mosasaurus. Um, we got Bumpy full size, Spino and T-Rex going at it, Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus, and a Triceratops from Jurassic Park 3. Very exciting stuff. I'm gonna breeze through this really quick. We're just gonna go one by one. So here we go, we got the vintage. Um, I think this one is called the Lost World Buck Thrasher. This one is one of my prized possessions in the collection. I never had it growing up. I have had my eye on this for a long time and I paid a fair bit of money. This is the Chaos Effect T-Rex from the Lost World, I believe. Just an incredible thing. It's just so freaking beautiful. It's an amazing figure. And of course, everyone knows the Red Rex. I got this on eBay actually for not that much money. Here you go. These are the new age stuff. You've got the Mattel Rexes. You got babies there, male, female. And so these are sort of organized by species as, as well as I could. You've got like Stegosaurus, Ceratopsians. Of course, I am the dinosaur guy, so it would be weird. It would be a disservice if I didn't do something similar to that. Here we've got the Stegosaurus. Uh, you can see all the different ones. We've got the Kentrosaurus from Camp Cretaceous. We've got the vintage Stegosaur, Stegoceratops from Jurassic World, Snap Squad, all that stuff. Here we go, we got Nasutoceratops, Pentaceratops, Triceratops, Styracosaurus. Um, this one's technically a Pachyrhinosaurus and the two Sinoceratops and of course Protoceratops from Mattel. Got the Ankylosaurs. Bumpy's taking a nap apparently. <laughs> Got a bunch of Ankylosaurs, Gallimimus in there. There's a Mosasaurus in there in the back. Don't know why to be honest with you. <laughs> and we got Minmi. Which I have to say, I just started playing Jurassic World Evolution 2 and they made this realistically like almost the same as the one they made in the toy, which is crazy. Not much to say about this. Honestly, this shelf is a mess and I want to figure out a better way to display it. I feel like I need to put another shelf in between so they can stand correctly. But the prize possession in here, this thing I paid too much money for. Found this on eBay. This is the Carno Raptor which was made for the Jurassic World line, a hybrid. I remember seeing these in Walmart. I totally passed them up at the time. Was like, this is the stupidest thing ever because I don't really like hybrids. I ended up seeing it on eBay and I was like, I had my eye on it for a year before I bought it. And I ended up paying too much money for it. Okay, we got Hadrosaurus here. Oranosaurus, I forgot the name of this little guy. And Montosaurus, all the Parasaurolophuses. And hopefully you're gonna get the Hammond Collection one to put in there as well. This one's unfortunate because the sign of the dinosaur channel is going through it, but Pachycephalosaurus in there, Herrerasaurus. Big T-Rex from Jurassic World. One of my favorites, and I, I want to display this in a better light. I don't think it's doing it justice, but my Dilophosaur collection. Dilophosaurus, one of my favorite dinosaurs in the whole series. I just love the colors. This is the Amber collection. 
Dilophosaurus, which is actually pretty rare, and I found it in the Philippines when I was there for under 15 bucks. Used, the tail is a little ripped. I do have a packaged one up that's sealed that I paid a lot more money for, but that's the Amber Collection Dilophosaurus, and just one of my favorite things ever. I love it. We've got Spinosaurus section here. You got the actual Spinosaurus from Crab Cretaceous, Suchomimus, bunch of Baryonyxes, even the vintage Baryonyx from Kenner, I believe. Um, then we got just more carnivores here. It's the mixed bag. You got uh, Ceratosaurus, Concavenator, Albertosaurus, Allosaurus, Metriacanthosaurus, Carnotaurus. It's all there. All right, now we're getting closer to finishing the new age stuff, the new Mattel stuff. We're getting into more vintage stuff. You got the uh, Suchomimus, Plesiosaurs, Dimetrodons, and Jurassic Park Kenner vintage Dimetrodon. So we got through the new stuff. Now we can jump into the old stuff. Here we've got also one of my prized possessions, a Jurassic Park Crunch The Lost World cereal box. The original Ford Explorer toy. If you guys ever watched my first video on my collection, this is where the collection sort of restarted. This was my favorite toy as a kid. I used to walk around with this all the time until my dog ate it. And then I ended up buying this stuff back but right around the time I graduated high school. The collection started growing and I started with buying back my favorite toy, which was these Jurassic Park 3 eggs, which at the time I had no idea were actually Jurassic Park eggs. This started in the Kenner line. So this is the original. I got the... Uh, the original one, I've got a bunch mixed in here. I've got the Lost World ones, and of course Jurassic Park 3, so you can see the whole generation. Of course, I consider this shelf sort of like the nursery, like these three. These are the babies. They've got the, uh, I forgot what they're called, the Clash and Fight. There's too many names for the toys. <laughs> and then you got more babies down here. More babies here, but in plush form. These are all like the eggs, reversible plush toys. And they've got some more. This one being, I love these ones that they made of Bumpy and Blue. Even though Blue looks a little stupid, this one of Bumpy is just amazing. It's like a hatch and drop egg. As well here, you've got more vintage plush. This is 25 year anniversary. These are actually vintage from the first movie. This is an exclusive from the theme parks from Orlando. Um, you've got some of the new Legacy collection ones here. Also ones from the first movie, Triceratops, Brachiosaurus. This one I got in the Philippines, never saw this before. I think it's from Universal Studios. Um, it's like a blind Triceratops, but I really like the color scheme and it's vintage and I got it for like nothing. Here you got another mixed bag, some Jurassic World stuff in here, you got Indominus. It's starting to get a little more obscure from this level going lower. Um, these are also ones that I picked up in the Philippines, these Jurassic Park vintage cups from the Universal Studios. Got those for a good price while I was out there. These are, I forgot the name of the company that makes these, but these really cool statues of the raptor and the t-rex of course prized possessions back here a brachiosaurus maquette that i got in universal studios one of the last ones in there i don't think they're ever going to make another one of those this is creative beast studios um one of the raptors i'm forgetting the name of which raptor it was which i shouldn't but i am forgetting it okay here we've got the anatomically correct fossils skull of a camarasaurus skull of a stegoceros we got a baryonyx claw back there a dinosaur egg 3D printed resonating chamber from Jurassic Park 3. Very exciting about that. More popcorn containers, more mini figures of Jurassic Park. This one's actually 3D printed, not a toy. This is the Tommy Takaro one from Japan. Paid way too much money for that thing and I don't think it looks that good. Then here we've got, this is like more of the Etsy place. So this is a really cool artist, his name is Rod's Random Work. You can find him, you can find him all over the internet pretty much. He's got this amazing model of a compi that I bought from him, as well as the Baby Rex from The Lost World. And he's got these little mini models as well that I purchased from him. This guy I just found in the flea market. I really love him. Bought him for like two bucks. And this amazing Parasaurolophus hatchling that I also bought on Etsy. I actually got this for free because the artist shipped it to me and it was broken by the time it arrived. So he ended up giving me a full refund and I managed to fix the neck. Um, a little bit to the point where you can't see it here, but it is pretty damaged, which is kind of sad, but an amazing artist. The last level of this is kind of storage. Each one of these boxes has different things in it. These are Jurassic Park mugs that I bought in the Philippines for ridiculously cheap as well. This is Burger King Jurassic Park watches. Got the pretty much the whole collection here a few times over. These Jurassic Park Viewmasters. Jurassic Park, The Lost World disposable camera. This is all my Jurassic Park cards in one place. Um, there's pogs, cards, holographic cards from the Tops line, the first movie, just a bunch of mixed bag of cards. This is a movie bill from uh, Regal Cinemas when I went to watch Fallen Kingdom, which is also amazing. I love this thing. Jurassic Park pinball, electronic pinball game. Super cool, super fun to play. I've actually played it many times. And this insanely weird thing that I bought, I showed this off in a previous video. It's a Keebler exclusive. It was super expensive because I think they made a very limited run of these. It's got a tablet in it that plays behind the scenes of Fallen Kingdom when you open it. Oh man, I guess the battery's finally dead. Well, it makes sense, it's been years. It comes with these Keebler Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom cookies. It's super crazy. 
It's one of the most insane things I have in this collection. Don't really understand why they did it, but it exists. This is the Horizon Brachiosaurus maquette original Stan Winston model. One of my prized possessions in this collection. It's something that I don't think I will ever sell. I put it together with a friend of mine. I still have the original box and everything. It's just, it's amazing. It's one of the coolest things ever, and it's huge. It's bigger than anything else I have in this collection. Um, and then, I got this in the Philippines for a crazy... I think $30 and I think the only one that I've ever seen being sold on eBay for like one was like 200 bucks and one was $3,000. It's a Jurassic Park Lost World Tiger Velociraptor, sort of original maquette from Stan Winston. And I carry this thing on my back while evacuating from a typhoon in the Philippines. I will never let this thing go. <laughs> it was in my room when I was in the Philippines for like a year. Love this thing to death and I think it's one of the coolest things in my collection, even though I'm not a huge Velociraptor guy. As you can see, I'm repping the uh, Jurassic Park Podcast Lost World Velociraptor shirt, which you can get at the Jurassic Park Podcast. Check them out. They're amazing. But yes, you can see this raptor right here. Amazing. This is just, just a little night light that I like turning on before I go to sleep. I just love the, the orange light of the amber. This is a Comfy I also bought on Etsy, posable model. These are Jurassic Park laser discs. This is the Mondo Jurassic Park um, original record with a Dilophosaurus color on the record. Probably gonna keep that sealed and never open it. We're done with everything that's on display. Let's begin the task of boxes. It's gonna be fun. All right, so as I mentioned for boxes, we've got a lot. This is never gonna end, but continue the first part of the video because there are, there are some cool uh, finds in here. It's just movies, pretty much. We've got the cassettes, all, the, all three original movies on cassette. We've got DVDs of The Lost World, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. It's all in here. And then I even got the soundtrack to The Lost World, which has this really cool cardboard cutout. You should look it up if you don't know it. I don't want to open it up because they kind of, they're pretty fragile now. This I'm really proud of because this is all Jurassic Park video game stuff. So you've got as many video games I could get my hand off here. You got Sega Genesis, Game Boy, Nintendo. I think this is Nintendo 64, or maybe that's the original Nintendo. Um, you've got Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color, Game Gear. This is the original Jurassic World Evolution before there was Jurassic World Evolution on the Game Boy. The game for Xbox, really, really proud of this box. One thing that I'm dying to add to the collection is Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, the original on CD, but they're just so expensive at the moment, so I'm waiting for that market to sort of go down a bit. All right, so this box is sort of where the collection really, really started catching on Steam. I remember when the first Jurassic World movie came out, I went out and bought as many of these cans as I could find because I was so obsessed with them and I felt like they would be worth money in the future. I didn't. I don't think a lot of people even knew this was happening. They made these original Barbasol cans with Jurassic World drawings on them. They were a dollar at the time and I think they're worth a fair bit of money now and I've got quite a few of them. I've just got some Jurassic World mixed bag toys. I don't really like these. I bought them because I was excited at the time but these are probably stuff I'll, I will sell off in the future. Here I've got stuff that I'd love to display one day but this is all Jurassic Park 25th anniversary stuff. Mug. Shot glass, amber uh, sort of book holder. Here we've got a box full of Legacy Collection humans that I got on sale. Definitely want to display these in the future. Like we've got Ellie Sattler, Alan Grant. I really like these figures and I'm not a human guy at all. I don't collect, you can see the only person I have there is Darius and he's getting eaten by a Mosasaurus. Uh, people, I want to display this someday but I don't have a way to at the moment. I've also got another box here that's just filled with Jurassic World food. I'm a huge fan of food snacks when it comes out with uh, Jurassic Park and Jurassic World stuff. So this is like Buffalo Ranch Doritos with <laughs> the T-Rex on it. Like dinosaur Pez dispenser. We got fruit snacks. I love these are actually so good. I love these. This box is pretty interesting because these are just packs that I bought that I thought I'd want to double of and I'm not sure that I do want to double of in the future. There's like Tapiara here, the original Pachycephalosaurus from uh, Fallen Kingdom's first line. But one thing that I am keeping sealed because I love it so much is the Shringosaurus. My friend found this for me at Best Buy. I never saw it anywhere since I got back to the States. And it's just ridiculous. I love this figure. It's, it's a T-Rex with horns on all fours. It's an amazing thing. We should definitely do a video on the Shringosaurus in the future. This is my entire line of Jurassic Park comics in a box. IDW stuff. IDW. I never actually read any of these. I don't even want to open them up because I don't want to get them dirty. But I've got like the whole line of Jurassic Park ones, the original ones. There's like the retro Jurassic Park ones. One day I would like to envision a wall in my house completely covered in just comic books of Jurassic Park. Okay, this box I'm excited about. Hammond, uh, I think this is San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, Hammond with the baby raptor and the cane. You've got the Hammond Barbasol can. I'm not opening up any of these because I want to keep them sealed and fresh for the future. You've got the original Legacy Collection. I think this is Legacy Collection. Yeah, Pachycephalosaurus which they didn't make a lot of and I paid too much money for, but I, Pachycephalosaurus is one of my favorites and I love this color scheme because it's really true to the, the Lost World movie. So 
had to get this one. We've got the story packs, which were also sort of, I had to get these from South Korea, but I love them as well. I just love these packs, they're so cool. The Alan Grant with the uh, eggs. We got Robert Muldoon and the Velociraptor. One of my prized possessions, the blue plesiosaur, um, or sort of like the aquamarine or teal plesiosaur. I love this one. I got this from a guy in Guatemala when they were having stock issues with this color specifically, and I don't think they ever straightened them out, so I'm really happy that I got it. They came out with a bunch of plesiosaurs of different colors, but this is my favorite one for sure, and it's so beautiful. I'll probably never open this one up. And then Majungasaurus, which I also, I was out of the country when this came out, so I don't know if it was easy or hard to find, but I had to get it online for quite an expensive price. And it, in my opinion, it's one of the best figures that Mattel has made so far. It's a beautiful, beautiful dinosaur. And then we've got Escape, uh, when, when the, in Jurassic Park, you, you know the scene. This big box here is all Amber Collection. Jurassic Park, Amber Collection, hyper-realistic figures, Pteranodon I got here. Um, this is the only human figure that I ended up buying was the Dennis Nedry with the Barbasol because it's amazing. This one, which I will keep sealed, I think forever, is the Dilophosaurus. I ordered this one on Big Bad Toy Store. They canceled my order because I think they had a stock issue with this and I was so excited to get it. I was overseas, couldn't find it anywhere besides that one that I showed you guys that's already open, a little damaged, but this is a completely sealed one. Looks perfect from what I can see on the outline. I'll probably never open this one, but yeah, I love this. I'll just show you guys from the top. I don't think we need to go through everything. Got all the raptors. I've got the whole raptor squad here. A few duplicates of the tiger raptor, the baby. The, the, we don't need to talk about this one. I'm a big fan of the Amber collection. I love it. I'm excited to see what they do with the Hammond collection. I'm also very happy that they're getting significantly cheaper because paying like $40 for a figure after them only being $25 and them getting scalped, not a fun situation for a collector like myself. This whole box is filled to the brim with Jurassic World Snap Squad. I love these. I've got an entire collection building on them. I am in love with them, even the harder ones to find, like the Spinosaurus, the other Spinosaurus, Dilophosaurus, which I got a bunch of these in the Philippines. I'm very happy about this, the green Dilophosaurus. Some of them are really hard to find. Some of them were super easy. I got bumpy. Um, I've got duplicates of them because I love them and they're relatively affordable to collect. All right, next up, this is a more obscure part of the collection. When I was living in the Philippines and Camp Cretaceous came out, I was able to get my hands on these McDonald's uh, Happy Meal toys and I collected the first four that you could get in the Philippines which was just the T-Rex, yeah here's the Triceratops, Bumpy, and the, I think this one is the Indominus Rex, yeah so you could get the Indominus Rex. So I got those four but little did I know they actually had a whole line but wasn't released in the Philippines or in the US to my knowledge. I think I bought these from Russia but don't quote me on it. It comes packed in this little McDonald's Happy Meal box and it's just the coolest thing ever so in this box we've got I think I labeled them each this is the Brachiosaurus and it's just so it's so cool and cute look at that little baby Brachiosaurus I'm a sucker for baby dinosaurs anything that has baby dinosaurs in it I'm buying it really really happy to have that as part of my collection as I think that's something that not a lot of people are gonna have the full collection of that last but not least in the collection I think in my opinion it's the least interesting Jurassic Park Funkos that I wanted I didn't get everything in here it's not the full collection but we got some 25th anniversary stuff, it's Mr. DNA, the Target exclusive. I'm sort of slowly weaning off of Funko. I really learned that I don't like Funkos as much in the box. I really like them out of the, out of the box and it kind of sucks because they depreciate in value. If you don't appreciate me after turning my amazingly clean and organized room into this mess for you, then you don't love me. Please subscribe, turn on those notifications because we're trying to re-hit monetization here on the Dinosaur channel. We did lose monetization a few months ago as I was too busy to upload on this channel, but I'm coming back, come back strong now. This is a set that I've built for you guys. I've been working very hard on this. We're about to pump out tons of amazing dinosaur informational filled videos for you. Coming very, very soon. Please patiently wait as we do some more fun videos along the way. If you want to donate to this channel, you can down below in the description. Please let me know a dinosaur or prehistoric creature you'd like to see us cover in the future. I'll see you very quick on the next one. Goodbye.